All right, hour one of running in the uh, Stewart number nine new main shaft from Stewart Models in the UK. Got that. Graphite yarn, we're gonna have to work on that one. But we uh, got this shaft installed and uh, with very little effort, uh, had to polish the shaft itself. I uh, did that on a lathe and it ran very, very true. No run out at all. Maybe a thou or two thou run out, maybe three thou and uh, not too much at all and it could have been chucking on the old lathe as well so I can't say that it was out at all so it's really nice quality had a bit of a casting pockmark on this far end of the eccentric shaft but it won't affect attaching a pulley or anything like that um, flywheel is running very true flywheel may not have been machined properly who knows so can't judge the shaft by the main uh, movement of the flywheel <clears throat> and it's also ha comes down to the grub screw and the uh, fitting. Now these are slide fits. They're nice, uh, not too tight. I didn't want to have to press fit them on. The uh, center area, rather than machine the web of the crank, uh, I did the uh, the brass bearings or the cast bearings on the sides, bronze bearings, and finished the sides of them uh, with the milling machine. Took off about a thou on one side and about maybe a thou and a half, two thou on the other side. And uh, the clicking you hear right now is the uh, crank web bedding into the, uh, the bronze bearings, basically. And that sound will go away once it's been run for four or five hours, I'm hoping. If it's not gone in four or five hours, then I'll definitely address it. But uh, right now it seems to be machining its way with the older parts and uh, the shaft is not wearing excessively. I'm not seeing a lot of black yet uh, in the oil. The governor cable, I figured out where the center brake was on it, so it wasn't too long, uh, but I did uh, shorten it. Then I had to use a little bit of crazy glue to fix the uh, spring once I threaded it together and uh, untwisted it from threading it. So that I'm really happy with. <coughs> and. Uh, the main shaft was a good deal, considering the amount of work for the precision of it. Uh, the price is really reasonable from Stewart Models, and uh, it probably gets a little bit more expensive for bigger machine parts, but uh, definitely a good investment and something to have that's spec on the motor so that I can uh, check everything else. I also got the book uh, on the number nine, and it's uh, by Two Book Kane, which was uh, pretty surprising. I never knew that Stuart used his uh, his uh, assembly instructions. So that was neat. I'd love to see the assembly instructions from the uh, 1900s, early or the late 19, uh, 1800s basically, uh, and see what kind of instructions they gave back then because I think that those documents would be very, very interesting to collectors as well. And uh, the number nine seems to be ready for work. The governor seems to be working. We're going to get some steam on it tomorrow or the next day. Then we're going to get a motorcycle alternator hooked up to it and torture the little bugger. So stay tuned. It should be fun. And we'll get on the uh, number one and the number ten. Uh, big brother and little brother. Uh, single pillar uh, vertical steam engines. And what takes to rebuild those and get them running. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Bye.